Hi, and welcome to another Heatlink Quick Tip video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the installation of the snow and ice sensor. Once the placement has been determined using the tips from the previous video as a guide, you can then move on to the installation. And the first tip I have for you on that is that you do not want to install this sensor before your concrete or asphalt pour. This can damage the sensor, can damage the cable, and it can lead to expensive repairs or replacements down the line. What you want to do is run some conduit or some tubing in order to run your cable through and then you want to use the socket and this wood block uh, for the placement for the sensor. As a bonus tip you can run some string or cord through the conduit that you can then use to pull the cable back through once the pour is complete. You also want to ensure that the sensor is installed level and even with the surface of the slab. There's a small uh, element inside that will warm up and melt snow so that it gets an accurate moisture reading and if it's level you're going to get a much more accurate input. Following these guidelines will give you the best results on your snow melt installation and give you reliable operation for years to come. That's about all the time we have for today. Join me in our next Heatlink Quick Tip video and thanks for watching.